Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. So today I want to show you my Lophophora Williamsii Texana cactus plant which was currently in bloom. So it's the first flower I've had so far this year. So I'll be taking a look at the flower. Then I'll show you my Pluricostata and Cardona varieties of Lophophora as well. So let's get started. So today it's the 9th of June 2021. And today I have found a flower bud forming on my Lophophora Williamsii Texana. So if I move this fluffy wool out the way, you can just see a flower bud coming through there. So when I originally bought this cactus, if you're not aware of the history of this one, you can see it's quite indented around the whole plant now this was because apparently it had some rim damage where it was in the pot for a bit too long and it started to cut into the sides of the cactus but since i've had it it started to recover quite well and in fact you'd almost believe that from where the cactus stops at this green section you'd almost think that the rest of that was just the actual root itself so it started to darken over time and blend in so it almost looked like the continuation there of the taproot. And I do have it sat quite high up in the pot actually as well. So I have watered this about two or three times now. So it has plumped up and it's uh, sitting a bit higher in the pot because it pushes itself up. So I've just put it back onto the windowsill. So this faces northwesterly direction. And believe it or not, I did check the cactus yesterday for buds, but didn't see any. So this Lophophora can be quite sneaky. You can check it one day and there's nothing. And hours later, you'll check it again and you'll see a flower bud. And it's the same with the flowers too. Once you see a flower, you think, oh, it's got a little while to go. And then all of a sudden it just opens up on you. In this little pot here, we have another Lophophora, which I've had for some time. And you can see the size difference here. So this is about a seven to eight centimetre size pot. And this one here, the black pot, is a six centimetre pot. And then I have a just a slightly bigger one than that small one you just saw on the other windowsill. So that's doing really well at the moment. So when this goes into flower, I shall do another update and add it onto this video. So today is the 11th of June 2021, so this morning the flower bud had only just started to push up a bit more and now it's advanced a lot more over the course of the day. So wow look at that, it's really pushed out. So this morning it was like the same level as the fluff and it's done all of that today. And here's the beautiful little Lophophora flower. So you can get lots of flowers in one growing season. I find the Lophophora flowers quite profusely over the summer. And here I am just helping it pollinate itself. You can use its own pollen onto its stigma on the same flower and you'll get seed. These next two have been sitting very, very, very quietly in my collection for over a year and a half. Now let's give them an update. Now one is Lophophora pluricostata here on the left and the other one here is Lophophora cardona. Now I bought these back in September 2019 so I've had them for over a year and a half now and they didn't flower for me in September 2019 and they didn't flower for me last year in the year 2020. So I'm hoping that they might flower for me this year, but I've decided to give them a bit of a tidy up because since I bought them, they've been potted into these pots and they've been in here ever since. I've topped them up with some charcoal from time to time. So they've had a nice fill of water. 
and I have noticed they've plumped up a little bit which is really good so I don't think there's anything wrong with them I'm not sure why they're not choosing to flower but what we're going to be doing today is you can see all of the woolly areoles here since I've got these plants I've never ever ever tidied up the fluffy areoles so what we're going to be doing today is showing you the before and after so I'm going to be brushing out the areoles to make them nice and fluffy again. I've just put it off for ages, so I thought it would be a really good opportunity to show you what they look like after you have fluffed up the areoles. So you can see they look quite different to each other. Now you might be wondering why they've got this funny coloured skin. Now I actually bought them in this condition. Now, I'm not sure whether it was from a spider mite damage from back in the past or whether it's from sunburn. But spider mite damage and sunburn can look quite similar on a Lophophora and it tends to look quite cakey, almost like you could peel it off on here. But once it starts growing and it starts stretching, you can see the cracks start to appear as the plant begins to grow over time. So you can see as it begins to stretch in between the rib margins, you can see the grey to bluey green coloured epidermis of what a lophophora would normally look like. So as it starts to expand and it draws up water, the cactus body itself stretches out and it's revealing the green skin below. So eventually one day that will grow out. But this is how the polarico starter looks before. And then we're going to use a toothbrush to gently brush out the fluffy wool. Some of it will come away because it's just naturally, it loses it over time and it will just fall out. But you'll be left with really fluffy woolly areoles and it will really improve the appearance of your cactus. Okay, so what you want is any small brush. I'm going to be using a clean toothbrush. And there they are, so you can see how beautiful and fluffy they look now. And there we go, so this one didn't have too much to do, but it looks much improved compared to what it was. So today is the 15th of June 2021. And I just wanted to add an update on my Lophophora Williamsii Plurico starter here. It's put on some growth. So since I've watered it, it's looking really beautiful because it's starting to push out the skin there and show off its natural skin colour now. So you can see how spread out the areoles are. So instead of a fluffy top, we can now see all of the rib margins. So around the 19th of June 2021, I noticed a flower bud forming on my Lophophora cardona. So today is the 26th of June 2021 and I have my Lophophora cardona in flower. So it started to open up today. So it did absolutely nothing last year apart from just a very tiny amount of growth. And you can see where it's got the new green skin starting to show through, where it's starting to stretch its skin as it takes up water and starts to grow. 
So this is the first time I've ever seen a Lofofora Cardona flower and it's quite different from my Lofofora Williamsii Texana. So this one has more of a pink stripe down the centre of each petal. So this is what the flower looks like once it dies back and I did exactly the same thing to this flower as I did to my Lofofora Williamsii Texana at the beginning of the video and I lightly dusted its own stigma using the pollen from its own flower. So I've not had any experience with Cardona flowers before until now. This is the first time it's ever flowered for me in the whole time I've had this cactus. So I'll see if a fruit develops. Um, hopefully it should. They do tend to pollinate themselves with their own pollen. So thank you so much for watching. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, I'm now also on Instagram. So you can follow me there at Cactus Cove channel. And I do feature more photos and sometimes video clips that I don't normally show via my YouTube channel. So, see you next time. Bye!